All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let's do uh, tibial plateau fractures. This is the Shaxka classification system, which was talked about on the July EM wrap. And I just want to give you a little visual to go with that. Um, so the reason you need to know just a little tiny bit about uh, this classification system is it's really common and you'll make yourself sound smart when you talk to talk to the orthopedic surgeons. I don't think you need to memorize the whole thing, but just a few key elements. So first of all, there's a uh, class one or type one, which is where you've got to crack down that lateral tibial plateau. Really common. So that's type one, right? A type two is when you've got that plus, you've got a segment that's sort of depressed down a little bit. So that plus a little depression down here would be a type two. Type three is what old people tend to get, which is sort of they just get a depression here without much else going on without the split, without that fragment. And uh, they've basically just jammed their femur, which lies up here, straight down and into their tibia. So that's a type three. Now type four is an important one, because that is actually on the medial side and has a pretty bad prognosis. So that's a type four. Type five is when you've got both the lateral and the medial side involved. So that's a type five. And a type six is when you've got lateral, medial, and you've crush the bone here because you've forced this femur all the way through. So again, one is just a little split. Two is when this little segment here is depressed. Three is when it's just depressed in here. Four is medial. Five is both sides. And six is the big daddy. This is a great free site from the University of Washington. Um, and they have this little thing where you can you know, roll over all this and get CT stuff as well. But let's go over it again. Here's a type one. We've just got the little crack there. If you can see it down here, not displaced. Type two. Same thing, but with a little depression down here. So this little segment is now depressed. Uh, the type three, where you've just got a little depressed segment in here. So this little segment here is a little bit depressed. Some of these are pretty subtle, hard to see. Um, here is your type four, which again is medial. So this whole segment here of the medial portion, the medial condyle of the tibial plateau is squished down. The five, remember, is both sides squished down this side, squished down this side. So this whole you know, femur has been shoved down into here. And the type six that you see in the big car accidents and somebody jumping off a roof or something like that is where this uh, femur is shoved into here and you've broken both condyles, they're depressed and you've smashed uh, the proximal tibia as well. So that's a classification system. The key things I think you need to remember is the type one because you see it so much and whether it's depressed or not. The type 4, because it's medial and it starts to have a much worse prognosis. And then the type 6, which is, uh-oh, we need a little help here. This thing is completely smashed. So remember those three. And even if you don't remember the system, if it's referenced, you'll go, oh, yeah, I can't remember that. I got the idea. I know. And it's basically, remember, type 1 is good prognosis all the way up to type 6, which is bad prognosis. And sort of a linear progression of badness as you go from type 1 to type 6.